Hello, welcome to my presentation on the illustration essay. I am Professor Ashawn Hampton, English instructor. Let's take a look at what the word illustration means. If you looked in a dictionary, you might find the words to clarify by use of examples or comparisons. In other words, to illustrate is to explain a general statement or idea with one or more specific examples. When you illustrate a point, you are trying to create a visual in the minds of the readers. An illustration essay explains a general principle or idea by using a number of well-chosen examples. The key here is well-chosen examples. Let's say you have this topic for an illustration essay. College students face a number of pressures. Now, do you see how general and broad that is? What you first need to do is to think of what kinds of pressures college students face. So some examples are financial pressures, maybe family pressures, and finally peer pressure. As you can see, these are all three examples of the types of pressures a college student might face. Now, you would need to take this a bit further and cite specific examples of each one. For example, financial pressures. Let's say the student A does not come in in time for a student to take classes. Family pressures. Maybe the student is a single parent or maybe they have to take care of an ailing parent. Peer pressure. Now you would think adults are on college campuses, right? But there is still a degree of peer pressure that some students face. Say for example, your friends want you to party all the time and not study. So this is how you would take a topic and narrow it down and develop ideas for specific examples. The purpose of examples, each example in an illustration essay must relate to and support the general statement or topic as in the previous example. Let's take a, an example, a look at what we mean by this. All right, here's another topic. Honesty is the best policy. Again, that's a broad statement. In an illustration essay, you would take this topic and demonstrate or show, when we say demonstrate, we mean to show through examples, either facts, anecdotes, which are stories, or personal experiences, how this is true. So you want to use these forms of information, such as facts, stories, or personal experiences to show how honesty is the best policy. All right, let's take a look at this, break it down a little bit more so that we can fully understand how to develop an illustration essay topic. Here's our statement once again, honesty is the best policy. And here are some visual examples of people who know why honesty is the best policy. So why is honesty the best policy? Answering the question why gets you a step closer to your purpose or the direction your essay will take. Let's say you decide honesty is the best policy because dishonesty leads to personal and professional embarrassment. And there are a plethora of examples in popular culture that you could choose from in order to formulate an illustration essay on this topic or on this idea. All right, let's test your knowledge. I want you to take a moment to read these statements. You want to choose the one that is irrelevant or has nothing to do with the topic. So the topic reads, the museum contains many fascinating examples of African art. That's the topic. Let's take a look at the three support sentences that follow it. Number one reads, 
It houses a fine collection of Ashanti fertility dolls. Does that sound like an example of African art? Let's read number two. Drums and shaman's costumes are displayed on the second floor. Do they sound like examples of African art? And let's take a look at statement number three. The museum building was once the home of Frederick Douglass. Hmm. Now, which one do you think is irrelevant? Yes, hopefully you chose number three. In order to make this work, you would need to find another example of African art. For example, African masks. So now you have examples specifically of African art. And with this suggestion, none of them are irrelevant. All right, let's take a look at some examples of transitional expressions that you might use in an illustration essay. Remember, transitional expressions expressions or words or phrases that move you from one point to another. Transitions move you from one idea to another so that your paragraphs make sense. When you read the first paragraph, it makes sense with the second paragraph and so forth. So for instance, for example, another instance of Another example of, here are a few examples. In other words, also, furthermore, to illustrate. All of these are examples of phrases you might find and that you might write in an illustration essay to alert the reader that you are getting ready to talk about another example, that you are leaving one example and you are now going to discuss a different example. That is what transitional expressions do in your paragraphs and for your essays as a whole. They unify your paragraphs and your essays by connecting your ideas. All right, let's test your knowledge a little bit more with this illustration exercise. I want you to take a moment to read this paragraph. At this point, you might want to pause the video so that you can read this paragraph. Then answer the three questions below. So if you want, go ahead and pause the video now. All right, I'll read the paragraph aloud. Some seemingly harmless substances can interfere with the way medicines work inside the body. Take grapefruit juice, for example. It disrupts the enzymes that break down drugs in the small intestine before they are absorbed into the bloodstream. Therefore, taking a medication with grapefruit juice may cause the drug to enter the blood in dangerously high concentrations. If this happens, not only is the drug less effective, but serious side effects can result. Many common medications, including antidepressants, antihistamines, and cholesterol drugs, are negatively affected by grapefruit juice. So let's consider question number one. Give the number of the topic sentence in the paragraph above. So you either mentally or on scratch paper, write what you think the answer is. Question number two, how many examples does the writer use to develop the topic sentence? And question three, which transitional expression in the paragraph introduces an illustration? Now, let's take a look at the answers. Did you get those right? The answer to question one is sentence number one. In this instance, the very first sentence is the topic sentence, but that might not always be the case. Sometimes a topic sentence can appear at the end of a paragraph or in another position within the paragraph. So be careful of that. Number two, they're only talking about grapefruit juice. So they use one example to illustrate how certain substances can interfere 
with the way medicines work inside the body? And question three, the transitional expression is located in sentence number two, for example. I want you to notice that the transitional phrase is located towards the end of the sentence, not the beginning. Sometimes, most often, the transitional phrases are positioned at the beginning of the sentence, but again, that might not always be the case. So make sure that you can identify transitional expressions wherever they might appear in the sentence. All right, let's take a look at some final tips for writing the illustration essay. First, choose the best examples to illustrate your point. You want to use the best examples you can possibly think of to illustrate your point, especially if you don't have a lot of space. Say your essay is only two pages or two to three pages. That's a short writing, so you don't have time to put everything in there. You need to specify and identify what your best examples are going to be. All right, use one to three examples in an illustration essay. Now, let me give this disclaimer. It depends on what you're writing about and how long the paper should be, like how long the page length is. I just said before, you might not have a lot of pages to use a whole lot of examples. Uh, one example could be very effective. It just depends on what your topic is and how you decide to write it. But Generally, as a good rule of thumb, one to three examples are good to use in an illustration essay. Make the examples specific. Remember what we did on college pressures and financial reasons is a college pressure, but then you had to specify what kind of financial pressure. And we identified student aid coming late is a financial pressure that college students have to face. So remember that your examples need to be very specific. And lastly, use enough detail in your examples to make your point vivid to the reader. There is nothing worse than reading a paper or listening to someone talk in generalities. You want to create visuals and give enough information so that your reader exactly understands what it is you are trying to express to them. So don't leave your reader guessing. Instead, use enough words and enough details to fully support your point. All right. Hopefully you have found this lecture on the illustration essay very helpful. In the meantime, happy writing.